The trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong The New Empire brought forth many theories, confirmations, and even the emergence of the villain King Scar. But do you know the origin of this villain? Why is he awakening just now? In this video, I will provide you with some new information that is coming out about Godzilla vs. Kong The New Empire, based on a recently leaked script that has generated a lot of discussion. Let's dive in. Welcome to Nerd Insights. Before we get to this explosive news, please like this video. I need your support to continue delivering daily updates from the nerd world without delays. And besides, your likes greatly help this channel as a whole. Thank you always, and let's get started. Godzilla vs. Kong represents the future of the monsterverse. Many think that giant monster movies are being left behind, but the truth is, they're just getting started. There's a lot of exciting things coming our way, including a confirmed crossover, Click the link in the card to learn more about this crossover. In a conversation with a Warner Brothers employee who is known for leaking information, including contact with the famous KDM, he discussed some matters, such as the origin of the villain King Scar and the reason why Godzilla was merely toying with Kong in Godzilla vs. Kong 1. It's all related to King Scar. Folks, this is bigger than we thought. Stick around until the end of the video, and you'll understand how Kong was never a threat to Godzilla, and how it connects to King Scar. According to leaked information, King Scar is an ancient species older than Kong. In the Battle of the Ancestors, Godzilla fought against King Scar to maintain the balance of the Earth. Until then, King Scar was considered the villain. However, we discovered that King Scar was actually a species that protected humans and cared for the planet Earth. He had an interesting past but he became corrupted in his pursuit of more powerful abilities, enslaving and killing other kaijus. This explains the dead kaijus in the Godzilla vs. Kong teaser. These newfound powers of King Scar led to Godzilla's intervention. He saw the war spreading through the Hollow Earth and engaged in an epic battle against King Scar. According to information, King Scar had an army of creatures similar to Kong, and when Godzilla first saw Kong, he thought he was a subordinate of King Scar. He attacked Kong as we saw in Godzilla vs. Kong 1. The famous scene from the trailer where they face off for the first time, it was only when Godzilla realized his mistake that, he ignored Kong, that makes complete sense. After that encounter, Godzilla wanted nothing to do with Kong, even though Kong was pursuing him for a fight. But how did King Scar escape from the depths of the Hollow Earth? The leaked script states that it was thanks to one of King Scar's subordinates who fled the lair and was found by Kong, who adopted him as his own and helped him free King Scar. There are also indications that Godzilla allowed King Scar to escape by using his atomic breath in the Hollow Earth, creating an opening for him to flee, as the atomic breath pierced through the planet. These pieces of information are rumors and leaks, so take them with a grain of salt. The only official information is that the second season of the Monarch Legacy Legacy of Monsters series is confirmed for 2025, as well as the teaser for this new film. Now, I want to hear from you. How do you think King Scar will be freed? Does the rumor I brought up make sense? Or do you think it's different? Share all your thoughts in the comments. And of course, subscribe to this channel. Isn't it great to stay ahead of everyone else and be up to date with all the news, rumors, and leaks? That's why you should be subscribed to this channel with the notification bell turned on. This way, whenever a new piece of news, rumor, or leak comes out, you'll be the first to know. Thank you for your ongoing support. Take care, and until next time.